Hi guys, I'm Darren and today I'm going to show you how to set up arming on your momentary switch in OpenTX. So this request came from Marcin from the iNav Fixwing group and he basically wanted a system where he could use his uh, momentary switch to arm and disarm the model rather than using the two-way switch. So his requirement was to actually hold this down for a certain amount of time before it will arm and obviously we just want to flick it to disarm. So this can be set up pretty simply. So we're just going to use some logic first of all to create the on off switch. So we'll go into the model and we'll go to our logical switches and the first thing that we're going to do is use an edge to get the length of time that this is on for. So what the edge does is specify um, that this switch is in that position for uh, a minimum amount of time. So he wanted a second. Um, for demo purposes, I'm just going to set it to a second and a half. This means that it needs to be active for at least one and a half seconds. So if I just flick it, you'll see nothing happens. If I leave it, after flicking it nothing happens but if I hold it down for one and a half seconds and then let go it will activate. The problem is it activates quickly and then lets go so now what we need to do is create a second part to our switch and we're going to use a sticky. So we're going to use our logical switch one to activate and then we're going to use our SH to deactivate. So you can see if I just flick this, nothing is going to happen whatsoever. If I hold it in and then let go, it will activate the sticky and then flicking will let it go. The problem we have is that at the moment we have no idea of knowing and it's, it's like if we hold it down, we could be holding it down for ages until it actually does anything. So what we can do is change this to instant so what we can do now is if we just hold it down for one and a half seconds it will automatically come over onto our sticky so you can see there if i just flick it when nothing happens we stay disarmed if we hold it down for one and a half seconds it activates our sticky so we're now armed and if we flick we are now disarmed so that's great so what about getting some feedback so we know what's happening? So if we page through to special functions, we can set up our logic condition or our logical switches for giving us some feedback. So our arming switch is LO2. So what we need to do is select that and then we'll play a track to save it we're armed. And what we'll do now is a we're going to use LO2 again, but we're going to invert it. So it's not LO2. And again, we'll play a track. And this time, disarmed. But we're not quite done here yet. The last thing we need to do is just change this. At the moment, it will play once when we disarm. But when we first switch on our transmitter, it will get annoying. So just change that to not 1x. And that means it won't play it when it starts up. Because our default position is actually going to be disarmed, we don't need to worry about that with the armed special function. So now, if I go back, if I hold in, um. we can now get the feedback for armed. And then if I flick it, disarmed. disarmed. So that's brilliant. What we now need to do though is assign that to a channel so that iNav can actually use it. So I'll do this, actually let's do it for a regular non-flight controller system at the moment. So we're just going to use it to disable our throttle. So the way I like to do this is on the inputs here. So we're going to page back to our inputs. And we've got our throttle input. So what we're going to do is just edit this and put it on a switch. 
which is going to be logical switch two. And then we're going to copy that one, paste it, edit this. We're going to invert uh, logical switch two. We're going to change the source to max. And we're going to set the weight to negative 100. So if we now go to our output channel, we can see the throttle is at minus 100. It's not going to move. If we arm, Armed. the throttle now moves. Disarmed. As soon as we disarm, it goes down. So that's, that's ideal for a tr traditional plane. So what about a flight controller? With a flight controller, we don't really want to um, disable the throttle because we could use it for um, stick commands, such as entering OSD menus and stuff like that when we're disarmed. So if we go back into our model menu, I'll set this back to how it was originally. So our throttle works all the time now. And what we want to do is just instead send out the armed to the flight controller itself. So again, we're going to use um, some inputs and we're going to call this the arm input. So we'll call this uh, line armed or R. And what we're going to do is use max. We leave the weight at 100% and we use our logical switch LO2. So when LO2 is active, we will have 100% here, which is great. And what we're going to do is copy that line and paste it and edit this. So this one is going to be disarmed. So I'll just leave it DR because I don't think there's any more characters. And what we're going to do is reverse the weight to negative 100 and we're going to set invert the logical switch so you can see because we're disarmed now we're at minus 100 and if I arm it um. you can see we're now at 100 so if you're using um, iNav there at the moment there is a a glitch with fail safes if you have a fail safe in flight not all the channels will necessarily come back at the same time. It seems to be about 50-50 that fail safes are good or bad for, with regards to the glitch. But if not, uh, you'll find that the arm channel is low, um, which will disarm the plane. So what we're actually going to do is reverse this. So I'm going to set the disarmed to 100, reverse out and set the armed to negative 100. So what that will mean is when we're armed, the channel will be at negative 100. And if we have the glitch, it will be in a position where the arms, um, the bar in the modes page will still be in that armed region. So even if we have the glitch, we will not disarm. So that's why I've, I've set this that way around. But we're still not sending it to the uh, flight controller yet. We need to do one more thing, which is go through to the mix the mixes page. And we're just going to create a new mix. Again, we can call this arm. We just use our arm input as the source. And that's it done. So if I come back out, we can go back to our monitors. Channel 5 is our arm. So we're disarmed. So it's at 100%. We're outputting 2012 microseconds. If we arm, Armed. we're now at minus 100, which is outputting 988 microseconds. Now, 988 microseconds is the exact value that um, the glitch channel will be at. So if you're armed at 998 micros microseconds, it's going to be within that arm box and you won't disarm. So I hope you guys found that uh, useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It will help get this tutorial out to more people so they can learn how to do cool stuff with their transmitters too. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you all stay safe. If you can, get out and fly. Fly a model like you stole them and have a great time. See ya.